Hey guys, I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for this tutorial for, uh, ever. But I'm finally making it because it took me a while to actually find a decent emulator. I downloaded EPSXC 1.7, but that one was complete shit. I mean, I couldn't even change discs. It was slow when starting games. Now, I downloaded 1.6, I got all the plugins and everything, so you don't have to run around the internet looking for those things. But if you don't like all the plugins I've downloaded, you can go to this guide. Of course, the link is in the description. It'll give you a nice bundle, but uh, you can go ahead and tinker with that, and it shows you how to set everything up. Especially for visual learners, because here in setting up the video, it shows you where you should arrive. Like, if I click, it's going to pop up. It should show up on this screen. It's a perfectly good guide. I mean... There's nothing else I have to say about it. That's how great it is. And it explains it way better than than me. So, that's pretty much it. You just download the emulator. And when you download it, you're going to get a compressed file that says EPSXC. Once you extract it, you open up the folder. You're going to get all these things. Now, you don't have to keep going through all your folders to get to your emulator. If you go to the EXE, which if you click, it will run. What you can do to run it like a software you can right click on it and you're gonna click on pin to taskbar now when you do that it's gonna appear down here when you click it even without this open it works and that's pretty much it if you want to see my settings uh, by the way the most important thing is the bios so when you click on bios I highly recommend the 1001 BIOS. That one worked best for me. Uh, when it comes to setting up the video, I use Pete's uh, DXX D3D driver. And when I configure that, you can set it up any way you want to, but I highly suggest the screen smoothing option. It makes the game look very crisp without slowing it down. The sound, I also use this plugin. I don't use the Eternal. 1.4, whatever that they recommended, it, it never worked for me. But these are my settings. You can go ahead and tinker with that any way you like, according to the guide or your preferences. And that's pretty much it. Right after this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your gamepad. If you have a PlayStation 3 controller or some kind of controller that lets you play games on your computer. So stay tuned for that, and happy gaming.